Charleston, along with a local organization and financial institution, partnered to educate community members on how to keep your money safe. Tonight's workshop specifically focused on the types of scams that you need to be aware of. Destiny Kennedy is joining us right now live in downtown Charleston. And Destiny, why did the city feel it was so important to educate community members about scams? Michael, Justin, organizers tell me there are more than 7 million fraud cases reported and workshops like these help community members avoid being a scammer's next victim. A lot of people, you know, call you on the phone and say this and that and then um, before you know it, you're going to give out your money and it's too late then because they got it. The Avoid Scams workshop hosted by the City of Charleston, along with Bank on Charleston Coalition partners, was held at Author Christopher Community Center. Organizers tell me scammers are raking in $38 billion a year. They explain why a specific demographic is often the target. One of the reasons that they target the elderly is because a lot of them are very trusting and they're always willing to give and willing to help. Some of the top scams talked about include the grandparent scam, which is when the caller claims to be a relative in some sort of distress. Then there's the voice print scam, which is when scammers record your voice using artificial intelligence. Organizers also shared new scam techniques. The gift card scam. Because now what they're doing is people are purchasing the gift card, but if they're not aware that the barcode on the back has already been used, when the senior gets home and tries to use it, there's no money. Organizers say if you've been scammed, do not be ashamed and report it immediately. Reporting live in Charleston, Destiny Kennedy, Live 5 News.